I got a fun one today. I'm on my way to meet the hockey guys and hop on their new podcast called The Fan Club. Fun fact about the hockey guys, obviously millions of followers on TikTok and they're just blowing up. They all played college in Superior, Wisconsin. And that was like just across the bridge from Duluth, Minnesota, where I played my college hockey. So during COVID, when they started posting stuff, um, it was I was literally across the bridge, really close to them. So that was fun to follow. And then obviously now they've been viral and they're doing all the NHL finals and all this kind of stuff. So good for them. I'm stoked to hop onto the podcast. Their studio, their office is only about 30 minutes from, from my house, so it works out perfect. And um, hopefully, gonna shoot some content with them on the ice this summer as well. So. I better not do the one where I'm like, what time I roll in. I think I got <laughs> no, yeah, the time. Okay, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Hey, hey, I'm Lawson. We got yeah. nothing. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Be watching a lot of you guys. Oh, yeah, you as well. This is Austin. Hey, how's it going? Guys, nice to meet you. You as well. This is uh, this is the spot. Sweet, sick. Have been in here? Uh, since November, right? Yeah, yeah. November. Nice. Yeah, believe it or not, we did uh, actually clean it up for you too. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, but we got the little uh, podcast room here. Sweet. We'll get you. Uh, we'll get you s sitting over there. How long do you think, or if it will ever happen, for an NHL player now to start a YouTube channel? So I would love to see some guy like starting double A, triple A, playing that kind of hockey and making it to like juniors and making it to college and while doing all this stuff. So I think until that happens, it's kind of, I don't think there's going to be too many 30 year olds who are going to pick up this and start it. And uh, it's going to be the younger guys even. Um, they have to start it before they make the NHL. Yeah. I, I find it hard if guys want to start in their first couple of years. They just probably think it's too much and it's a distraction. So somebody yeah. just has to like do it, be comfortable with it, and like grow it as they grow as a player. All right, guys. So it's summer. You're going to hit that pool, hit that beach. You want to make sure all of this is looking good. And if you've been a fan of the channel, you know I only trust Manscaped with this stuff. And I just want to tell you a couple of their products that are must-haves. So. Obviously, the legendary Lawnmower 4.0 to take care of all of this and the new Beard Hedger for this part of your face. So you don't have to use the same thing for both, right? The Lawnmower has an advanced skin safe technology so you can stab yourself anyway and you'll be safe. And same goes for the Beard Hedger. You'll be safe no matter what. Both of these are cordless, waterproof, and the Lawnmower even comes with the little LED light. The Beard Hedger I use for this part of my face and then uh, when it's time to trim the mustache, it's one size fit all. Just slap this on. I'll keep it at 3.5. I'll go around the mustache and that way I know every single time it's gonna look the same. Manscaped really has everything you need and that's the only thing I trust. So head over to manscaped.com, use the code CAS, that's K-A-C, get free shipping, 20% off, and join over 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. So I was mic'd up for this gate, but I had like a bunch of lint on the charging port of my phone. So it didn't connect, but here we are. So this is only my first few skates of the summer and um, it's really important to start with good skating during the season. I always start with some basic skating. So you young goalies out there, you still gotta do your skating drills. But like I said, it's still early in the summer. I wanna make sure uh, I'm doing the right things and finding the right balance and focusing on those details with my skating. Cause low is smooth and smooth is fast. And there's no point in going fast if you're not doing the right things. So I know this could be a little boring, but it actually makes a huge difference when you have solid skating. Cause that's where your whole game comes from. If you can't skate, you can't get to the spots to make saves. So the better skater you are, the easier the game will be for you. 
Not a whole lot of pro guys are skating at this time of the summer yet. So we only have two shooters for this skate. And it was a lot of shots. And I had the opportunity to kind of focus on a couple things. And the biggest thing is obviously the fundamentals. And I wanted to really focus on tracking from my feet, not dropping too early, shifting in the pucks, tracking all the way with my head. Even made a couple decent glove saves. But yeah, just using this time to get the basics right. And then from there, I can add some speed and add some different drills. And when you set your camera on a cheap tripod, this can happen. During the summer, when you don't skate as much as you do in the season, it's really crucial to take care of those hip muscles. In the days I don't skate, I do a little bit of extra to try to strengthen those out because during the season, you're pretty much on the ice every day. So you kind of just want to take care of those muscles and not have the chance to strengthen them. But this is kind of what my routine usually looks like. I use the PTP total resistance band, the PTP micro band that is made out of cloth, which makes it super comfortable. And also the little sliding board is very convenient for some groin muscle work. There you go. With the push, trying to bring this knee back right away. You notice the first one, first push you had? You have like, oh, I have all this speed now with coming and bringing the knee. The second shot when you come out here, I want you to uh, have a good stop, find your balance, and stay low on the shot. Maybe it was just the last one, but you kind of lift it up on that shot. On this side, you're coming from up to down, like this with your glove. I want you to come from here, and then if he shoots high, I want you to make this kind of save. Try how that feels. For you. When you're sliding across here, I feel like when the shot's coming, you're like lifting your upper body a little bit to try to make the save. To come down on the puck, keep your shoulders above. That's, that's how you cover all this up. You're, you're still drifting out. And there's the one when your your momentum was going still this way and the, and the shot went this way. So just come out, stop, find your balance, and from here it's easy to go both ways. Just putting on the finishing touches on this vlog. Um, gonna wrap it up. I'm doing the coaching with Lakes Area Goaltending here in Egan, Minnesota. I think you can still sign up if you wanna get some lessons in. And the whole on ice mic situation will be fixed for the next video. Make sure to subscribe because we are heading into free agency now. So it's gonna be an exciting time. I'm gonna be skating a lot during the summer. Um, I will also be playing in the beauty league here in Minnesota with a bunch of NHL guys. I think I'm gonna be pretty much playing every Wednesday starting July 12th. That's gonna be exciting. That's gonna be good content as well. I'm prepping for next season. The big thanks to Manscaped for making this video happen. Fox, you wanna say anything? But I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye.